What's going on guys? Mark Zari here and we're on CoinGecko.com and this is the place where you can see all your cryptocurrencies, altcoins, whatever you want to call them. It's on this page here or CoinMarketCap.com is another uh, site that I go to to look at my uh, to look at what's going on as far as the listings for crypto. As we all know, the big boy Bitcoin is always number one. It's going to stay number one because of this market cap right here. Bitcoin pretty much have have half of the market cap right and we just hit a trillion dollars and and as far as our market cap as a whole in this space congratulations on that uh, been a long journey um, and a lot of people thought it was possible but we, we made it so uh, crypto has been solidified in the space uh, and, and, and it's something to be uh, aware of because this is stuff this stuff is legitimate it's real it's nothing fake about it and people's uh, getting rich just to throw that out there um, but Bitcoin yeah, we can see Bitcoin uh, has a market cap of $683 billion, right? So can Bitcoin by itself have a market cap of $1 trillion? It's possible. I think so. But who who knows? Time will only tell. But we're not talking about Bitcoin. We're talking about these altcoins that are underneath a dollar. Something that you guys are probably looking for. Looking for those opportunities. Well, the opportunities is right here. And I'm going to show you some good altcoins to, to probably possibly add to your portfolio. This isn't any invest any type of investment advice. This is just you know something that I will do if I was in your shoe and just try to help you guys out. Look for these altcoins because there's hundreds and thousands of altcoins out there, and you get get lost and, and you get lost and and probably buy some that you shouldn't be buying if you're a beginner because this this space is is is, is crazy, right? It's the wild wild west still. So moving forward. So the altcoin um, that I see on my list, we got Cardona, ADA. Um, I can even pull on the charts for you guys briefly. So ADA, Cardona. Take your symbol for ADA. Let's go with, I just had it on here on my watch list. Okay, there we go. ADA, USC Tether. So I am looking at the two-hour time frame. So... Uh, since I'm a swing trader, I like to look at the two hours between the two and the four hours. I can even go to an hour or three hours, but I usually be, go uh, stay between these two time frames. So moving forward, that's what I'll do. So we can um, possibly look for opportunities uh, to make swing trades, right? And that and swing trading is a lot easier than day trading because swing trading, you can just see the date. You can really see the charts and see the good entry points to take. And, and if you're right, you could go to the moon just like uh, ADA right now, right? It was just at, on the 2nd of January, was at 17 cents. Now it's at 33 cents. So big, big gains there. So that's ADA. ADA is definitely over, over, uh, over bought. So uh, I will wait for a pullback for ADA to happen because this thing is, is shooting, shooting really hot. So there will always be a pullback. When will that happen? Who knows? Um, as you zooming in little by little here, so you guys can see these mini pullbacks here. It was a pullback at 28 cents, then it went back up to uh, uh, 35 cents. So it got some mini pullbacks here, but um, yeah, still still overbought. So I will just wait on the sidelines because there's other opportunities that meets my criteria. As far as good entry points and ADA right now just isn't meeting that criteria for me. So moving on. But this is a good uh, cryptocurrency because um, if we look at the history, ADA um, still hasn't hit its all-time highs. With the all-time high for ADA was $1.18. So a lot of opportunity there for ADA. So uh, moving on. Next crypto, because I'm trying to make this video um, not so long like the last video so xrp didn't make the list unfortunately because they got issues going with the sec um so the next one on my list is stellar stellar i'll talk about this one briefly on my video i made earlier today so stellar is a great um opportunity because it, it's very very cheap it still hasn't hit its all-time high it's underneath a dollar um the all-time high for stellar was 87 cents and that was three years ago so a lot of opportunities for Stellar still because it's only at 35 cents. And since it's outcoin season, anything is possible right now for this to probably even hit new all-time highs with Stellar, which is hopefully hitting a dollar, right? I would like to see Stellar hit a dollar. That would be nice. 
and I don't even have a position in Stellar or any of these cryptocurrencies yet. I'm just talking about them because I see opportunities and I want to uh, help you guys see these opportunities as well. So this is the wrong ticker symbol for Stellar. Got on my watch list. Uh, should have it. Got so many different cryptocurrencies. Uh, try to see what was a good one. That's okay. So Stellar. Uh, looking at the two-hour time frame for Stellar. It's definitely over uh, overbought right now. So as far as good entry points, I will wait on the sidelines for for Stellar just to cool down a little bit. So I won't be in the over uh, bot zone because over bot zone just means that it's over bot and it has a, a it has a good chance that it will go down. Right? Um, does it have any pullbacks? Yeah, it has a little mini pullback here. Um, sellers came in and sold at twenty eight cents, then it popped back up to thirty six cents. So people are looking at these dips as opportunities to buy in as well. Um, that, that's something that you can do, but as a swing trader for me, I would just like to wait, you know, but I will keep my eyes on this, right? Because crypto do move, move, move fast. It might not never come down, right? It might just stay in the over, over, uh, over bot territory, uh, territory for a while before you start to see this drop down and probably become oversold, right? Um, that's how crypto moves, but moving on from stellar. Uh, so we looked at Stellar, ADA, we got, we got next on the list here, we got Neem, X-E-M for the ticker symbol, uh, ticker symbol, Neem, uh, it's currently trading at 26 cents, the little data that we got on Neem here has great volume, so another thing to be uh, uh, aware of is volume, so these cryptocurrencies I'm talking about right now, all, all of them have great volume. It, the volume for these cryptocurrencies or these altcoins I'm talking about has a hundred uh, billion, a hundred billion dollars in volume or more, or a hundred million dollars in volume or more, right? So if it's underneath a hundred million dollars in volume, I just don't, I wouldn't invest in it because I want to go where the money is at. I want to go where everybody else is investing, essentially, right? So volume is, is very important. But moving on, me. Um, it hit its all-time high three years ago at a dollar eighty-seven cents. So a lot of opportunity for for Neem to to hit its uh, all-time high again at a dollar eighty-seven cents, or hit new all-time highs and probably hit a two dollars. Right? Who never knows? Uh, crypto is crazy, but that's Neem. Um, I could pull it up on the charts here to see what the charts is looking at for Neem. I think Neem was looking pretty good. Okay, so Neem here. I think it was Neem, it must have probably been another cryptocurrency. So yeah, so it wasn't Neem, because Neem is it, looking at the two hour time frame or even looking at the four hour time frame. It's definitely over over um, over bot. So as far as a good entry point, I will hold off on Neem for right now. And you know, I would like for Neem to hopefully go back to 19 cents again. And some if something were to crash in crypto, who knows? You gotta be aware of this stuff. But uh, but yeah, high right now, I wouldn't get into it. I'll just wait on the sidelines. Um, that's Neem. A few more before we get out of here. I think the next one is Tron. Yeah, so Tron is next cryptocurrency. Um, I'm, I'm still a big believer in Tron. I, I still like the project. Um, Tron TRX, a lot of people don't like Tron TRX because of, uh, of the founder, Justin Sun. Justin Sun, you know, he he have his he have his moments and pretty much to make a long story short, a lot of people don't like Justin Sun because somebody run a prize to win like this car. I don't know if it was a Tesla or something. That's something that's going on. And um, this person in the crypto community, he won, he won, he won the prize um, for this for this vehicle. And the CEO for Tron, Justin Sun, was trying to give him something else other than the value of the car. And what he was trying to give the person was something far less than the value of the car. So a lot of so he got he caught a lot of flack from that from the cryptocurrency community. 
So that's why a lot of people kind of like Tron. Yeah. But Tron always delivered though. Tron always delivered. So Tron is a great uh, project still in my eyes. A great platform. Uh, so yeah, that's the back, back story on Tron CEO Justin Sun. <laughs> but moving on. Tron is a great, great opportunity to get into Tron still. All time high for Tron was was higher than 23 cents i think it was like 30 cents um so this might be a little bit wrong but but as you guys can see here three years ago it was at 23 cents and it's still at three cents with tron the thing i noticed about tron here tron has good entry points if the thing will load up okay there we go clear some of this stuff up for you guys so you guys can see what the hell is going on and I can see what the hell is going on. Alright. Fix this up a little bit. Made this video way too long. But hopefully you guys get value from this. So Tron. So good entry points for Tron. If you're looking at Tron. Right. It's, it's, it's still good opportunities for Tron. To hit all time highs. Right. So Tron. So good entry points for Tron is... For me, based on what I've been seeing for Tron, is about 0 .02 cent, 0 .023 cents. Somewhere in this range it is a good entry point to get into Tron. Um, well, I'll take a position in Tron right now. Yeah, I can, but you know, I, 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 want, I want the best deal. And I feel like the best deal for Tron, um, it, it happens with Tron all the time that it will get back down to this zone here at the 0 .023 zone or 0 0.024 zone right so i'm a little bit patient with tron and i'll just add it to my portfolio just like the other cryptocurrencies that hasn't hit their all-time highs and they have potential to hit their all-time highs uh, so that's tron on that one a lot of cryptocurrencies man this video is already at 12 minutes so doge so the last one i would do with, uh is dogecoin Doge is very, very interesting because Doge is just a, Doge isn't anything. Doge is just a funny meme with no project, right? It just has a strong community and a lot of people like Doge, right? People love the, the Doge coin because of the meme, because of the, the dog logo and things like that. But as, as you can see here, Doge doesn't do anything as a platform. The only reason why I added Doge to the list is because uh, Doe's been, a, been around for, for a very, very long time. I want to say since, what, 2015, 2013? Um, since this thing was, was active and, and got into the space. But 2013, it, it, built, it built a huge community around, around this currency. A lot of people are Dogecoin holders. Believe it or not, Dogecoin has a lot of volume. Uh, as you can see, 24-hour volumes. It's only six hundred seventy six uh six hundred seventy six million dollars in volume, but that's still good for for a Dogecoin that doesn't have a, a that isn't working on any projects. That that's actually pretty great for for coin like this, like Doge. I think Doge is the only exception for this. Uh, Doge is ranked number thirty two. Um, but as far as looking at Doge at the at the charts, the only way I the only way I will add Doge to my portfolio is to trade it. The only thing I would do with Doge is, is just to trade it. I wouldn't hold Doge long long term. Doge isn't a long term hold for me, in my opinion, based on because there's no there's no projects the team is working on. I don't think there's even a team. It's just a community now. But hey, I love Doge. Not gonna hate on Doge, but it's definitely on a high end. Uh, it hit its all-time highs about one cent. That's really high for Doge, as you guys can see. Uh, Doge has a <laughs> shitload of supply, and it finally hit one cent, right? Because of community and things like that. So anything is possible, right? Doge is a great example of anything being and anything being possible in crypto. Uh, but Doge usually trade was trading in these zones for for a very long time these zones here and you can see the volume isn't really there the volume is starting to be there now because outcoin season here so that's it on the uh, outcoins that's underneath a dollar to get started with your portfolio if you don't have a lot of money if i were you i will build my uh, portfolio around these cheap outcoins um some of these some of the ones that i mentioned 
that's on the front page there's there's a lot more that's on the front there's a few more that's on the front page that I will talk about I'll probably make a second video of this because this video is way too long um, but yeah with that said give this video a thumbs up Marcus are leave a comment I'm out guys